Hydraulic fracturing, or fracking as it's commonly known, has revitalized the oil and gas business in the United States and certainly here in North Texas. We've all heard about fracking and how much activity there is. But is it depleting freshwater resources? So the industry is looking for ways to recycle and reuse water, as you might imagine. And our man on the street and in the field, Don Wall, has a story about a possible technology solution. Hey, Don. Hey, Jeff. In the U.S., fracking consumes about 140 billion gallons of water a year. And in dry places like West Texas, where there's barely enough water anyways, the industry is evaluating ways to recycle the water. And a Fort Worth company has a promising solution. In the super dry West Texas Permian Basin, there's oil in the ground. But it takes 2 to 8 million gallons of water to do a fracking job, and so water is like gold. It's becoming nearly liquid gold. It's, it's precious. Again, out here in West Texas, we're in a drought, and, and it's hard to come by in this ranch that we're on, that we own. Uh, we don't have a lot of fresh water, and so uh, we're trying to do everything we can do to preserve that fresh water. Enter Water Rescue Services. Instead of throwing away the frack water by injecting it into saltwater disposal wells, the Fort Worth company has developed a patented process to recycle the water and reuse it, potentially saving hundreds of millions of gallons of fresh water. It comes out through these pipes, and it goes up through a couple of static mixers. Frack water is contaminated with heavy metals and chemicals. In a process called electrocoagulation, which takes four or five hours, Water Rescue Services runs the water through a series of tanks and puts a charge in it, which causes contaminants to cling together. And they attach to the, the nasty elements in the water, the heavy metals, the iron, and different components in the water, and they, start, they form a flock. And as that flock grows, it drops to the bottom, and, you, and you'll see in a little bit the um, the, the flock drops to the bottom and we get a clear stream of water across the top. At the end of the process, this is what we end up with. This is what they frack with. So, as you can see, we get all the junk out. And you go from that to that. Water Rescue Services is operating in Texas, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Colorado. Even the opponents of fracking like what they're doing. Everybody that understands what we do thinks it's great because, I mean, like I said, we're saving all this water, keeping trucks off the road. At this job with Faskin Oil and Ranch in Midland, about 90 percent of the frack water is recycled and reused, and that is saving almost 8 million gallons of fresh water a month. After we recycle the water, we send it off to this pit. And what you're hearing, that, that sound you're hearing right now is a pump. We're actually in the middle of a frack. So we're producing the water, it goes into here, and it's sent, it's piped two and a half miles right now on this job. We're piping it over to a frack job that's going on as we speak. This thing is just really getting started out here, and uh, I think with the process they have, and the, and the proof's in the pudding, so to speak, the water's very clear that comes out of their, their process. Uh, I think that there'll be a, a, a lot more uh, places that they'll be able to utilize their services. So recycling could be a great way to keep the fracking going without depleting the water supply.